God bless. you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Bradley Barako Bazuri Africa on social media platforms if you're a 10 subscriber thank you for coming back I'm kind of pumped today because Loki I'm doing a little mini voiceover which I've never done but it's just gonna be the beginning part of this vlog but today we're doing a day in the life a vlog it is the first day of term two and I'm actually excited I don't know if I'm excited to go back to work or I'm just excited to go see my little grade sevens I don't know which one it is but anyway we'll tell later so first thing I do is obviously do my skincare I plan of sunscreen i spend a lot of time outside because i do a lot of break duty so i want to protect my skin from the sun at all times as you guys can tell it is getting darker and darker every day you can actually tell that winter is here so the sun would normally be out now because it is 6 a.m but it's not out because it is a winter so i move over to doing my hair i apply the mousse and then i just straighten it out so that the flyaways will be down and then i move over to doing my edges because ain't nobody want edges that don't look snatched okay i'm gonna look over to a different mirror because i know very well that i cannot do my edges while looking at this damn phone <laughs> and then i'm gonna apply the same edge glue to my eyebrows and then i'm going over to applying lotion on my hands because nobody wants ashy hands and then i'm gonna apply my jewelry the first jewelry i apply is my ring and then i saw my earring roll down the drain ah! Then I'm gonna move over to putting my books in this bag. So these are all my books that I'm gonna take back to school, which I brought back home with so I can prep for the term and create lesson plans using these books. So I teach like five subjects as you guys know by now. So all these books are of those five subjects. I should actually take my water bottle too, which is what I'm gonna do next put it there so this little nook that you guys see here is where i just put my books and stuff my laptop my pencil case everything and get it ready for when the lady that i drive with comes to pick me up i'm in a lift club and she's gonna come pick me up at half past six then the next thing is that we are walking into my class and i'm just gonna walk over put stuff there and then i'm gonna prepare the class so that when the learners are here we just let them sit down and then get ready to start with their lessons so the desks were moved around and shuffled around because they cleaned my class um, when the school was closed over the holidays so I'm just going to prepare all those discs and get it ready for the lesson so I just prepared the class and I moved the discs this is what they look like and now I'm going to go to the staff meeting actually I need to print some stuff right now I don't know I'm out of breath from just moving discs I'm going to open my laptop print something for today and I'll see you guys a bit later. website that the other teacher recommended to me to use to do lesson plans so obviously I created my own and then now I'm just gonna like print I guess yeah that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna take it so these are pre-moderation checklists and stuff that I went and printed out so packing up stuff don't matter, I'm not going to show your face. <laughs> ah, these are the new message books that I'm supposed to staple. This is the medicine pack. I'm supposed to pack that away. And the learner is helping me pack stuff away. And I need to go in there and remove everything and put it back in there. So... <laughs> Listen up. 
Everyone is gonna get one pen, one pencil, and one rubber from me. Ah, Grace Evans, you're quiet. In terms of a rubber and a glue, I mean, you get a rubber, but you won't get a glue. There's only like two glues left, so we'll make it like a community glue again. Ne? I'll put it here, we'll all use it together, you'll paste. Yes? A ruler, there's no ruler. There's literally nothing. There's just this and pencils and pens. Okay, so... Come here. Please give one person. One, 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 one. And then I'm gonna come. One person, a pencil, please. One, 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 guys. Ah, uh -uh. you're not talking. How many is left? <laughs> guys, if you speak Corsa, I'm gonna give you guys demerits now. I will, because I said I won't, but I will now. <laughs> Do you want medication? No. Okay, guys, quiet. We're starting with work, ne? Guys, you have the paper. Today's the top of quiz. Uh-uh. The person that's talking now is standing for break. So, you have your day. Your heading is right there. Human rights in South Africa. Human rights. Hey, ah, uh, guys, no. I can't see him at Do you guys know when Human Rights Day is? When is it? Human Rights Day? of March. Human right. So I'm the person that's born with the most rights out of everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Open that first page so that we can start reading. I'm gonna read the first few lines. You better pay attention so that you will read also. If you say where, 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 because you're supposed to be following. So write the day, the heading, and put your finger on the first line so that I can start reading. Ne? Are we ready? The first one, the one that says human rights. What? Yes. Guys, you need to fight so loud. You need to fight so loud. Find this page. This first this is the first one. Okay, I'm gonna start reading. Application of human rights. Most countries have a constitution. A constitution is a group of laws that state how people should treat each other how the government of the country should treat its citizens. Ah, uh, loud, please. The South African Constitution lays the foundation for an open society in which every citizen will be Bill of Rights, next page. The first one says, everyone is equal before the law. Or unequal slash equal before the law. It's supposed to just be equal before the law. Ne? Every adult citizen has the right to win slash vote in the election. I did say that one. Everyone has a right to life slash a cell phone. You pick that one. Number four, adult citizens have the right to win slash vote in the elections. Which one is it? Then number five, everyone has the right to an environment that is healthy slash produces gold. You decide for yourself. Number six, uh, every child has a right to a name slash pocket money from birth. You pick. I know the one you're going to pick. You're going to pick pocket money, but there's no way. That's not a right. There's, that's not a right. That's not a right. Okay, number seven says, every child has a right to be protected from dogs slash abuse. Which one do you pick? Dogs. <laughs> Okay, and then 
then the next one says application of responsibilities which is something that some of you guys don't want to take responsibility on even though you have a light they have to go hand in hand together with your responsibility so you have a right to education, basic education, but your responsibility is to do your homework, study, show up to school on time, and do all of those things. Yeah? With some of you, you don't even do your homework, but we'll get to that some other time. Rights come with responsibilities. The government has a responsibility to respect and fulfill these rights. For example, they have a duty to address citizens' needs when it comes to education, health, service, water, and electricity. If they're doing that, debatable. Debatable. As citizens, yeah, because you know that there are some places that they don't have running water, some places don't have electricity, some places don't even have a hospital, so debatable. Okay, and then as citizens, if we want to enjoy our rights, we have to be responsible and respect the rights of others. Yeah, and then the next one is pollution. You, yourself, grade sevens, you're not supposed to litter. Which means you're not supposed to throw papers on the floor. Yes. Or do all of you are taking <laughs> Look at you. All of you guys that threw your papers on the floor. You are taking away my rights. So you better pick them up. Thank you. Thank you. They don't want to play. Okay. Guys, please go to the playground so that they can see you. Okay, so after break, it's mathematics. And today we are doing exponents. So I have to now start prepping for that. I'm just going to show you guys. This is the book. This is the chapter that we're doing today. I'm going to start writing some notes on the board and... Get the day started. Great. Everyone needs to be sitting. Please go sit down. Go sit down. Thank you. Close your eyes. God bless. Amen. Okay, so it's currently my lunch break. I went to go toast my sandwich. And now I'm going to eat my sandwich. And do some admin, obviously. Sunshine and melted in the heat of the midday sun. When it's my truth, I own, I speak it, all makes sense now. Give it a good, put that on good when it gets hard. Stay on my job like no days off, so you can go full. But yesterday, not yesterday, today, this is the thing I had to make a photocopy of. It's a checklist for the tests. So I need to print out my test and then attach this thing to it. But 
right now. I need to file my stuff. It's a lot of filing, a lot of papers. Some of the kids that were not here today are gonna get the papers. And I am staying after school a little bit until like half past three, I think, to do more admin so that tomorrow is a bit of a better day. My desk, my desk is moving. My desk is shaking. But yeah, what a day. Okay, so it's the end of the day. It is three o'clock. I am just finalizing my files, actually, and then I am gonna go home. I just got a notification that our load shedding is increased to stage six or something. That means that we are gonna have load shedding from five until eight at night. So. I don't know what I'm gonna eat or what I'm gonna make for dinner because by the time I get home it'll probably be five I hope I can cook something quickly to eat and stuff when I get there but yeah that was my day today a lot happened because it was the first day of school so I don't think I vlogged everything but I vlogged majority of the stuff we did some English today we did a lot of mathematics as you fall from the board I just couldn't even fool myself like explaining because I would just take too much effort for me to film and teach and teach and film and all of that stuff but for the subjects that are not like super super difficult to like keep up with and not be too distracting when doing that because like i have to do it a bit discreetly yeah so whew, what a day my feet hurt but i've made it so i am now i'm actually looking for something to print out the subject improvement plan i'm supposed to print it out and put it in my files so i'm gonna do my files now until half past three and then after that then i'm just gonna go home but basically that is it for my day nothing else to show there's still a lot of stuff i need to do i need to print out my exam papers that i'm sitting right now as we speak and if you are a teacher shame mathematics teachers I give you guys props because I didn't um, anticipate I would be doing so much mathematics stuff, but I am, and it's a lot. <laughs> it's very difficult to set a mathematics paper, and I didn't anticipate something like that to happen. So, yeah, basically, this is my day. It's the day in the life of a grade 7 teacher back at school with a new term. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to leave your comments down below. And please don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time. I'm tired. <laughs> I can't even I can't even fake smile. I shouldn't even be speak. I'm I'm tired. I'm ready. I'm tired. Yeah. So subscribe and subscribe. And subscribe. Now I'm on my way to be a wag. I'm on my way to be 
wife and girlfriend of a sports coach. It always happens to me. Anyway guys, I'm back home and now I'm gallivanting with my boyfriend. <laughs> 